Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips, I'm Brandon Trevino and today we're going to talk about the sights and optics for the Ruger 5.7 pistol. First off you see I have it disassembled, I'm just using my slide here and uh, of course your front sight is a uh, fiber optic, the rear sight is fully adjustable. Now the nice thing about this, you can use any standard flat tip screwdriver, you don't need a special one, just a small screwdriver will allow you to adjust for elevation on the top screw and click adjust for windage on the side screw. Now this is an important feature because when switching between 27 grain and 40 grain ammunition you will need to make a elevation correction. In addition to the uh, adjustable target sight we also have the option to include uh, a micro red dot optic. Now there's a variety of adapter plates that are available on shopruger.com. I have here the number one plate and that will fit the Vortex uh, Venom and Vortex Viper sights as well as the Burris Fast Fire 2 and Fast Fire 3 sights. Now to mount that plate you first need to remove these two filler holes that are in the top of the slide. Always use uh, the correct size bits uh, and if you have any question uh, all of these are listed in the manual but I'm going to first remove these two screws uh, in the top and you can see this one has a little bit of thread locking compound on there just to make sure that those stay put. So they're very small you want to put them aside and not lose them. Okay, with those removed we're going to put the plate on with the hollowed outside facing upwards and that will align with the two screw holes in the slide. Now the plate is going to come with these two mounting screws and we want to change bits We'll go ahead and put these mounting screws in place. Okay, just loosely at first. And then I want to torque these between 35 and 50 inch pounds. If you don't have a, a torque wrench or driver, just make sure that these are firmly installed. Don't over tighten. You don't want to strip out the threads uh, or ruin them, but you don't want them coming loose. Just give them a a nice firm finger tightness to them. So the screws that come with your plate do have a thread locking compound already applied onto the threads. You don't need to use any more. Um, if you are removing and replacing this uh, and you see that that patch is kind of worn out, you can use a, a blue non-permanent uh, gel compound. And uh, you don't want to use the liquid because actually the, the holes in the slide here, this is a through hole uh, into the firing pin channel then you're going to want to give it 6 to 12 hours to really cure before using your, your pistol again. Okay, the next thing is we're going to mount one of our optics here. So in this case I've uh, selected a Vortex optic. I'm going to install the battery in the correct orientation on the bottom. And you can see there's a couple of little bosses on this plate that line up with holes in the bottom of the optic. So we're just going to mount that in the correct orientation. And to mount the optics, you're going to want to use the screws and the driver that comes with the optic from the manufacturer. Don't want to use the wrong threads on these. This is an aluminum plate. If you're using the wrong screws, uh, you, you will destroy the plate. You can kind of check that by hand um, prior to installing, just to make sure you have the right screws for this plate. So I'm just going to, again, Tighten these down to the manufacturer's torque setting or just give it a firm finger tightness. Again, you don't want to tear out the aluminum threads in the plate. So here's your optic uh, correctly mounted on the slide and that's ready now for reassembly or firing. For additional optic plates, check shopruger.com. Uh, there's a variety of different sites that will work uh, with the Ruger 5.7 pistol. The important thing though is that you're using lightweight micro red dot sights. Uh, anything under one ounce is going to function reliably. Anything over an ounce, you'll, you may start having some difficulty functioning, especially with the lighter weight 27 grain ammo. Um, it'll be somewhat more reliable with the 40 grain ammo. We just have to be careful not to add too much weight to the slide. Most of the optics on the market today are going to be compatible with this slide. Thank you for watching this tech tip on optics and sights for the Ruger 5.7 pistol.